I'm here today with another kind of woman to woman type of video and I wanted to talk about something that is quite controversial but it's something that's been in the papers a lot lately and kind of been at the front of my mind a lot lately and that is plastic or cosmetic surgery. Now I'm not going to kind of go into the ins and outs of whether or not I think it's right or wrong or that kind of thing but I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about it because I recently read an article online about a girl who petitioned this website and got strangers to pay for her um, I won't kind of say breast enlargement or whatever you want to call it paid for her boob job let's just keep it kind of easier um, and she said that the reason she wanted to have one was because she felt so insecure with having a smaller chest and that was what she wanted to do a friend of mine um, about a year ago had a boob job as well and it was a very surprising thing to me because she just randomly sort of asked me. She said she'd save the money and she wanted to go traveling or have a boob job. And I was like, where's this boob job thing even come from? I'd never ever heard her complain about wanting a bigger chest. She's a very, very petite, skinny girl. And it was just kind of how her body was. And I'd never ever heard her complain about being small chested because it kind of suited her physique. And um, she just said, yeah, I'd like to, you know, be able to not have to wear a padded bra and that kind of thing and look good in a bikini. And she had one. And I remember at the time just thinking, I don't know how it works for everyone. And obviously I can only talk about it from my personal experience and my personal views. And this is by no means judging anyone that chooses to do this or saying that it's a wrong decision. But I think it has to be a decision that you take very seriously and I feel like today it's not necessarily a very serious decision but that might just be because I think that you know surgery is a very serious thing and it's a medical procedure and it's th something that's going to kind of have an implication on your life. My friend is 22 and that means you can only have the implants that she had in that she has put in for 10 years so in 10 years time she's going to have to redo it again by that point she'll probably be having children and that kind of thing and it's a complication and then 10 years after that you'd have to change them out and that type of thing and I just think it is quite a serious commitment and quite a big big scary decision to make and I am not confident with my body at all and I'm not even really that confident with the size of my chest but I think it would have to take a very big thing, like maybe if I had children and my chest had completely lost its shape and really um, was making me unhappy, that I would consider doing something like that because it's so much money and the surgery and implications that that would involve would just be a big deal to me. I'm not just talking strictly about boob jobs either, it can be any type of plastic surgery, it's just that those are the things that are more common. My grandmother has kind of got a slightly bumpy nose and she always said that if she was younger and she could have afforded it back then, she would have had a nose job. And I think that that's something that maybe I can kind of see more easily why you'd want to do that because I think it's in your face and it's not something you see every day and it's not something that you can kind of hide but just having a kind of averagely small chest I think I know what that feels like you know I've got a C cup and they're not huge and they're not tiny they're just kind of in the middle and they hang quite low and they're not particularly full and I don't particularly like the shape of them and they don't really look great in a bikini but I just kind of think like you know I'm not a Victoria's Secrets model and the amount of times a year I wear a bikini can't really justify me doing something that drastic just to fill out my bikini because I wear a bikini you know not very often at all and I can make them look bigger if I want by wearing a push-up bra and I can make them look um, kind of average if I want by just wearing a regular bra which is what I do most of the time anyway and I think we, uh, the easiest way to judge something is you try and kind of look at it from your point of view and that's the only way you can look at it. And I can't speak from anyone else's perspective, but from my personal perspective, I just think that it's something that's very, very serious and it's something that would be very, very serious to me. And I just don't understand how, how you can see it so lightly but at the same time I do think that you know if something's making you feel unhappy and you have the means to make yourself feel happy about it then go ahead and do that and it's fine and it's a great thing to do and I think that you know a lot of girls who for example are unhappy with the 
you know, appearance of their hair can change it and you can dye it and you can straighten it and you can curl it and you can whatever. And if you don't like your skin, you can cover it up. And there's so many things, especially like, you know, having a beauty channel. I know that, you know, I don't wake up in the morning and look like this. And they're all kind of quite superficial things. But as soon as it's something that's like life changing and medical, it scares me a little bit. And I think that especially like, having things done to your face and that kind of thing. I know so many women who have had things done and it went a little bit wrong and then it just looks a little bit strange. But I can't help but feel like if you want to make yourself happier and you feel that will make you happy, then why not? But that being said, I don't think that's something that I could do. Um, no matter how unhappy I was with my body and if I'd had children I think I'd probably hate it and if I really didn't like how my boobs looked or whatever it was I'd kind of try and hide it as much as I could but um, I would just kind of accept it and make the most of what I had kind of thing but like I said you know I'm under no illusions that I'm a Victoria's Secret model and that I need to look amazing in a bikini all the time because that's not the case and I think a lot of it maybe stems from kind of what you feel society thinks or maybe what your partner thinks and there's kind of that um, notion that men love a big chest and while most men probably do I know a lot of men that are kind of just generally happy if you've got a chest <laughs> like they don't really care if you've got an a cup or a b cup or a c cup or a double d cup um and i know a lot of men that kind of like really large chests and a lot of men that don't and it really is a personal preference and without going into kind of tmi from personal experience no one i've ever been with has had any complaints about it and my boyfriend now really um is into mine <laughs> um, and I asked him last night when I was thinking about this video if I had saved like five thousand pounds or however much it cost to have a boob job and I said to you that that's what I wanted to do would you mind and he said well no like if it was your money and it was what you wanted to do and it made you happy then no and I said to him but would you be a bit disappointed and he said yeah of course and that's kind of the thing where the line kind of becomes a little bit blurred because why is it okay to kind of fill, you know, put your face full of makeup but we kind of judge a little bit if you have had, you know, Botox put in your lips or whatever you want to call it. I know you don't actually put Botox in your lips but you know what I mean, a filler or whatever you want to call it. And I just think that kind of it's a very, very touchy subject and it's not something that I think a lot of people really talk about. But I've got a few friends who have had various procedures and most of most of them have been boob jobs, I'm not gonna lie. And people's reaction always amuses me because people always say, oh really, wow, well done. And I just don't think, why, why like, is that being applauded? Why is that like, well done? It's just what they've chosen to do. It's no one else's business, to be honest. But why are we kind of celebrating it? And why is it something that kind of should be applauded in a way when it shouldn't be anything it's just someone's personal choice about doing something that might make them feel better and there's not really much else you can say about that so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on cosmetic surgery but like I said you know my thoughts may change and I might be really pro it if there is something that I'm super 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 unhappy with to a point where I feel like I need to change it through surgery I might feel like that one day I don't know right now I don't feel like that but maybe one day I will feel like that and then it will be different and I will kind of do an updated video saying actually it's kind of a good thing and I was wrong but you know I don't I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it in years to come but I'd like to know your um, views on it and if you had had so if you have had surgery has it made you feel so much better and do you feel like you are kind of a complete person now and um, do you think that society pushes us to have surgery do you think that it's kind of become socially acceptable to have surgery I'd love to know your opinions on the matter and yeah, I hope you'll have a fantastic, fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.